The National Fisheries Production in Kenya, estimated at 150,000 metric tons, is mainly composed of fish from fresh waters, marine waters and aquaculture. About 95% of the national annual catch comes from fresh waters. At the same time, the inland capture fishery is overexploited and overfished, operating at the maximum sustainable yield. If this rate of affairs is not reversed, it can lead to a total collapse of the fishery. Fisheries industry is the fastest growing in the world. It's growing between 15% to 22% in the world. And uh, it is an area where Kenya will benefit from if we invest in it and exploit the resources that we have in fisheries. The marine fishery potential is estimated at 150,000 metric tons annually, though the current capacity is only 8,000 metric tons. The Indian Ocean, because of also problems to do with the infrastructure, that over the years there has been no investment in sea fisheries. The huge fisheries stock that is there, close to about 300,000 metric tons per year, remains unexploited by Kenyans. So what has happened in the Indian Ocean is that distant fishing nations haven't been benefiting on that fishery because Kenya has not built the capacity to go out there fishing. The main species are highly valued tuna and tuna-like species in the exclusive economic zone. This fishery is currently exploited by foreign vessels which land their fish harvest at offshore island states in the Indian Ocean due to absence of a fish port in Kenya. Exploiting this resource and landing the harvest on Kenyan coastline will contribute to food security, employment, wealth creation and raw materials for their domestic food and feed industries. To address this problem, the State Department of Fisheries has recently acquired a research vessel RV Mtafiti to be used in research work in physical, chemical and geological and biological oceanography besides the fisheries stock assessment in our exclusive economic zone EZZ in the Indian Ocean. The department has also procured an offshore patrol vessel to be used in curbing illegal, unregulated and unlicensed fishing in the exclusive economic zone. Belgian scientists from the universities came here, started a relationship with this institute. The program was called Kenya Belgian Project in Marine Sciences. And through that program, which has been consistently been put together, Belgium decided to give us a gift of a ship. The global population is expected to hit 9 billion by the year 2050, according to a World Bank study titled Fish 2030, Prospects for Fisheries and Aquaculture. With the projected growth, food producing sectors like aquaculture will be vital in providing nutrition, as crops will not be sufficient because the increasing population will occupy much of the land meant for agriculture. In 2009, the production from aquaculture was only 1,000 metric tons. And some of us, uh, guided by the, the principal secretary, the Department of Fisheries, came up with a proposal to do fish farming in the constituencies. And uh, under that program, which has been learning for the last four years, we have been able to, to construct over 70,000 fish ponds uh, directly and some other 30,000 pounds done by the people themselves. That means that we have about 100,000 pounds done by government under the Economic Stimulus Program. Aquaculture is an important fishery development activity that involves culturing aquatic organisms in a controlled marine environment and freshwater systems. If we create awareness in the general public, aquaculture can easily be integrated into household farming systems to increase production efficiency per unit within our country. The only way we can sort out the food security issue in this world is by doing aquaculture. So I'm welcoming the people of Kenya. Please invest your money in this direction. This is the, the way to go. But you can, be, you can become a millionaire, you can make a lot of money and be able to take care of uh, food security for this country. The subsector has the potential of significantly contributing to the national economy by creating employment. 
for an exchange generation, reducing poverty and supporting food security. In the current financial year, the ministry is conducting 10 Eat More Fish campaigns across the country. The aim is to enhance the local market for farmed fish, as well as increase fish per capita consumption from 3.7 kgs per person per year to the global 16 kgs per person per year by 2030. If we can be able to do that kind of a campaign and people start eating like what is being done outside Kenya, 16 kilograms per person per year, that will be the very, very huge market for farm fish. And I don't think anybody will ever, ever talk about local market. The Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries through the State Department of Fisheries has since 2009 been implementing a fish farming economic stimulus program in 219 constituencies countrywide. Under the program, fish production has increased from 1,000 metric tons worth 1 billion in 2009 to 47 metric tons worth 17 billion by February 2014. When you see those figures, it indicates that uh, this sector is a sector to, to invest in, is a sector that is profitable, is a sector that uh, will uh, ensure that this country will gain from, from its uh, investment. During the same period, aquaculture also increased from 722 hectares to 2,015 hectares. The program also employed over 100,000 fish farmers directly, 1 million people on short-term basis and some 500,000 people indirectly under the aquaculture products and byproducts value chain. Fish is highly perishable, a factor that has been exploited by middlemen and fish factory owners to exploit fishermen by forcing them to sell their catch at low prices. To solve this problem and to minimize post-harvest losses and enhance the domestic market for farmed fish and fisheries products, the Ministry has constructed four fishing processing plants to serve as the processing sites, cold storage, value addition and marketing outlets. So the current production is well over three tons monthly from the ponds and from the natural waters, the dams and uh, the, the, the rivers. And that is what necessitated uh, the construction of the mini processing plant because with the increased production, um, we foresaw a scenario where there would be so many fish and uh, that which is not sold at the farm gate uh, maybe there was need to have somewhere to keep the fish and also looking at the ways of uh, doing value addition so that the farmers are able to get maximum benefits from their uh, fisheries products. The idea behind the issue of marketing is that these farmers will be organized into clusters and have signalized harvesting and the transportation of this fish to the central collection points. So we will have different collection points whereby fish will be collected by a centralized transport system and delivered to the mini processing plant. By so doing, the farmers will be able to dictate the current prices according to the market value, not dictated by the middlemen or the cartels who have no interest of the farmers at heart. These facilities in Tetonyeri, South Imenti in Meru County, Lurambi Kakamega County, and Rongo, which is in Migori County. There are an additional 12 cold storage facilities along the shores of Lake Victoria. Perhaps we are going to have excess fish from the, from the one that which is consumed locally, and perhaps we'll, we'll do some furry addition, and uh, they have been training us on the furry addition, and we'll be doing the furry addition so that at least we can, be, we, we can get uh, much more from what we get by selling it just uh, low and whole. These facilities will go a long way in promoting fish safety, quality assurance, value addition and marketing for the fish and fish products. The expected capacity for the factory will be 10 tons in 24 hours and um, this one we can get from Embu, Tarakanizi, Meru County 
Laikipia and Isiru and all those preparations that we are making all those preparations to produce for the factory. Towards boosting aquaculture in Kenya, the government has a research station coordinating countrywide aquaculture research activities. The center is located in Sagana and offers solutions for sustainable development of commercial aquaculture in Kenya through applied demand-driven research and technology transfer that is responsive to the industry for social economic benefits. It also includes other separate stations across the country. One of them is uh, Kiganjo, Cold Water Aquaculture Research and Development Center. The other station we have is uh, in uh, Western Kenya at Kabonyo. This is uh, a center that is responsible for Nile Patch Research and Development. Then we have another station in, uh, at the coast. This is uh, Ngomeni, Mariculture and Brackish Water Research Center. This is responsible for development of uh, marine species that are good for aquaculture. The center has 72 research ponds and researchers on genetic improvement of fish seeds, thus providing quality fingerlings and introducing new varieties to farmers, apart from tilapia and catfish that are common to farmers. And then we also promote what we call integrated fish farming. This way you can do fish farming together with other farm, farm activities like animal, we are looking at grazing units, we are looking at chicken, we are looking at sheep and goat units. Because fish farming is not an isolated practice. For maximum profitability, you need to integrate with other farm units. The center also pursues curriculum development in conjunction with schools and universities, capacity building for farmers and on-farm extension services. Apart from having university students coming to carry out their research work here, they work with us closely, we guide them. We prepare their minds. We also have our county fisheries officers out there. The National Aquaculture Research Development and Training Center is offering training for these fisheries officers at the county level. Once they are enlo enrolled in uh, universities and they want to carry out their research, the National Aquaculture Research Development and Training Center offers an ambient opportunity for uh, environment for them to come and set out the experiment. The station's core functions include diversification of culture species and breed improvement, provide gene bank for germ plus for species and aquaculture importance, development of ornamental and recreational fishes, fish feed development and quality assurance, development of innovative technologies for value addition and post-harvest handling, among other functions. National Aquaculture Research Development Training Center is a very conducive environment as a national center because it has enough facility to be able to carry out selective breeding. Selective breeding requires enough space. Keganjo Trout Hatchery is a cold water fisheries demonstration center. The main activities include artificial propagation of trout because trout does not breed in captivity. The process involves harvesting of eggs and milt from fish by exerting a gentle pressure on the stomach, a process that is known as stripping. To achieve fertilization, the eggs and milt are mixed together and incubated in incubation trays. At fingerling stage, they are transferred to raceways and later to grow out ponds. The certified seeds, that is the fingerlings produced, are sold out to trout fingerling producers. Green Algae Highland Fish Farm in Kerenyaga County owned by William Kiama, has 17 fish ponds harboring tilapia species, catfish, and other ornamental varieties of fish. You must do ile inaitwa aquaculture for wealth and health. Si kama ile ukulima yetu ya zamani tu ya kulima tu ile inaitwa subsistence farming. Hii ni ukulima ile utakuwa unajenga afya ya mwili yako na hali kadhalika unapata hela au unapata senti he has both fingerlings and table-sized fish. Another successful privately owned enterprise is Samaki 2 Fish Farm, owned by George Muhoho and located at Mango Village in Juja. The project is about a year old and now we, we are actually producing and selling monosex uh, fingerlings. We also do sell uh, B-sex fingerlings for those who might want to start a fish farming 
and reproduce fingerlings, we also are able to do that for them. The farmer uses a recirculation aquaculture system. This system is good for higher production levels at small land or pond areas as well as low water availability areas like urban centers and arid and semi-arid areas. Jasa Fish Farm, owned by Sami Wairungi, is a good example of urban fish farming as he operates a recirculation aquaculture system on a quarter acre piece of land and sells up to 100,000 tilapia and catfish fingerlings per month to farmers from different regions in the country. Our goal is to do the quality tilapia and uh, catfish uh, quality of it. The fish need a lot of quality water management. That's the most important in fish. There is nothing else important except the water quality. Every once a month or every two months, you need to change the water. This farm is at the heart of urban setup within Thicker Town. This is a clear indication that fish farming is profitable when correctly practiced. It is an enterprise which is uh, growing in terms of uh, the product need. Uh, many people are turning into fish eating, so we know there has to be always be market for fish. And um, from my experience, for the one, two years I've been here, uh, you, you can't go wrong with the fish. He relies on borehole water and water harvested during rainy seasons for his farming. The fish farm in Kiberegwe Secondary School is a source of proteins for students' nutritional requirements. Actually, I'm planning this time when we come for the, our parents' AGM. If we shall have fish, we shall prepare some for our parents. You know, you also teach the parents themselves, because some of them do not know that these projects can help them. Instead of somebody always complaining, I don't have fish. And maybe you have a farm that you don't use. The fish are also sold to other schools, thus generating revenue for the students' farming club. The pond is used also as a fish farming aid for students and for practical purposes. We want also to ensure that uh, schools and training institutions ensure that uh, issues of fisheries are also taught. Issues of fisheries are taught in schools at, at a very early stage so that uh, people can really get to know that it is an area where uh, they can also uh, and go into as a business. You know now the student will just be told today is a lesson, they go there, they, they learn with the teacher and actually they learn more practically because they can do it themselves now. In Narumoru Primary School in Kajiado County, school enrollment and performance has improved due to the fish farming project that has attracted a lot of interest from the local community that is predominantly pastoralists. The fish pond has facilitated real learning in sciences, social studies and other subjects. Also, most of the parents we have in school, they come visit our school to see, to learn, some even beg to be assisted with the fingerlings so that they can start the same. From the project, many parents have started their own fish ponds at home, hence reducing poverty levels in the area and providing alternative source of food and hence revenue for the families. Ningeomba sana hii project ya samaki iendelee na kwa sababu bado tuko na uwanja kubwa katika Narumoru kama tunaweza ongezewa vidimbi tatu au inne kwa sababu bado tuko na sehemu kubwa tunaweza fuga samaki tulikuwa tunaziogopa lakini tangu atuletea na Rumoru primary hatuziogopa gisquizi tunataka kuambia watu wetu waingie kwenye hiyo biashara biashara ya uh, kukuza samaki biashara ya kuuza samaki biashara ya kupika samaki na kajiado kama mnavyojua ni mchanganyiko wa watu kuna wa masai ambao tunawahimiza waingie kwa hiyo biashara na wale samaki lakini kuna watu wa Kenya waina zote sisi Hata kushinda kaunti zingine, tutaweza kuchukua uh, hiyo nafasi ya kutumia samaki haraka zaidi kushinda kaunti zingine. To meet the demand of fish feed production and reduce the price of feed offered by multinational companies, a total of 54 fish feed pelletizing machines were designed and procured by the government and distributed to 54 fish farming clusters in the 54 counties. The main goal was to assist fish farmers across the country to be able to produce fish feeds in rural areas. These ones are like small centers of uh, fish feed production, which will serve the wider areas uh, that you know around the, the constituencies, and in this way we have been able to reduce the, the market price for feeds 
and made, them, made, made the feed affordable to our fish farmers. The fish feed pelletizing machine was thus an innovation to facilitate the ministry to put up production of fish feeds in the hands of fish farmers themselves. Some of the factors that made us to come up with this, uh, with this organization that uh, at times we did not get the quality feed that we needed for our fish to grow. And so it forced us to come down as members and to evaluate the ingredients that we can um, easily source. Then uh, that is how we came up and now we are making a very good feed. We are certain of the ingredients, we know the ratio in which we mix and it is really uh, working out for us. We sell uh, tilapia feeds at 80 shillings per, per kilo due to the, the protein content that we've put in place. But the catfish we sell a little bit higher because of the protein content. For the catfish the protein content has to be high, that is why we sell it at at 90 per kilo, which is still affordable. This will help provide long-lasting and sustainable fish feed supply chain, which is within the reach of farmers at constituency level. It will also caution farmers against businessmen who sell fish feeds at exorbitant prices. With the efforts outlined, the government is geared towards ensuring that the sector makes a huge impact to the social economic development of Kenya. Fish farming is an industry supported by banks, hotel industry, by airlines, by construction industry. You know, when they have idle money, which they do not know where to put at the time, there are people with money who do this. Now, what we are saying is that we have the potential and we are welcoming people with money to undertake this business.